Juice Bumps. How I have Juice Bumps. You, that you were playing for your teammates, but also for your country. They play to change the world, right? To change the country, to change the lives of the neighbors and the countrymen, things like that. So that's, I got to give 100% respect to uh, the players in rugby and um, the things that they got to go through just just to make it. Respect. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ramir, coach from America. Today, we're going to be checking out some rugby videos. Uh, this one in particular was actually messaged to me on Instagram by Amanda. Uh, wanted me to check out this mini series called Chasing the Sun. Okay, but uh, she also linked a trailer to it. Yeah, that's probably more probable, plausible, probable, anyway, for me to react to. All right, so I'm not sure how much I can actually get in here because it is a trailer. Um, I might have to cut some scenes out, whatever, for copyright purposes, whatever. Anyway, it's been a while since I put a video on this channel. I'm actually super excited to be back again, guys. I've been so busy with my other channel and, and, and traveling and all that stuff, but we're back. And hey, guys, let's jump right on in. What do you think I see in the stars? See us winning the World Cup, lifting the World Cup. I believe it strongly. Wow. The highest score the All Blacks have ever put on this What a shame! They will be desperate to and right the wrongs from their 57 nil defeat. I mean, this wasn't right. a, a result that was a surprise. Last World Cup. Huh? This is simple malaise that's going through this team. The South Africans are very passionate. The, the f ball. It's uh, going to be a long, tough slog ahead. I'll, I'll f sacrifice at all costs. I want to be a Springbok. I believe the Springbok has the power of changing a lot of people's lives in South Africa. When I put on a jersey and remind myself who I'm playing for, everybody who's ever been hungry, everybody who's ever struggled financially, everybody who's walked to school without shoes on, I want those people to know that, you know what, one day you can also be that person and make a difference. We started talking about what is pressure. And in South Africa, pressure is, is not having a job. Pressure is, is one of your close relatives being murdered. And the rugby shouldn't be something that creates pressure on you. Rugby should be something that creates hope. Juice bumps. I have juice bumps. You, that you were playing for your teammates, but also for your country. You are playing well, and now you keep hope. Find a way, it's gonna happen at this next level. For us to lie to ourselves and say we can't make this game personal, it was personal. South Africa and England down to fight it out. And they made a tackle half time when they came in. It wasn't about the actual game plan, it was about South Africa, the people back home watching the TV. <laughs> the best. 19 months ago, no one would have given this team a chance. A country that so desperately needs to smile collectively <laughs> and cohesively. You asked me to do it. You asked me to do it. And he did it. He did it. He did it. That's right. See us winning the World Cup, lifting the World Cup, and that's why we're going. Oh my gosh, guys! I got, I got, I got to see this mini series. Oh my goodness! All right, guys. There's, I mean, that team is an absolute legend. Okay, you've got like, you got the King Slayer. You got, oh my gosh! There's, I, I, I there's nothing. I can't, I can't say anything. You, I, can, I don't even know what to say. Like just watching and experiencing all the different things that go on emotionally in rugby. You know, like on the field and off the field is is just amazing because i like would like like say with the nfl i love nfl and everything like that right i'm not gonna i'm not gonna cut down nfl or anything like that guys i'm not i love nfl but these guys those guys are just making millions and millions of dollars and they know they're set you know and, and then sometimes when people play these games they they're, they're in it for the money you know, and you can kind of see that sometimes, you know, like off the field, they're over there showing their bling bling and all that stuff. And then you guys got, you got players like, for example, like over here in, in Springbrook, they just, they, they, they play to change the world, 
right? To change their country, to change the lives of their neighbors and their countrymen, things like that. So that's, I got to give 100% respect to uh, the players in rugby and um, the things that they got to go through just, just to make it. Respect.